Hey guys, welcome to the channel and to the second episode of my vegan build. So this is the progress so far. Uh, if we start with the front of the fuselage, uh, I have uh, glued the two halves together as you can see. I have fitted the um, air funnels and the air intakes and uh, basically prepared everything for for sanding um, I've tried a new uh, trick here to I, I used masking tape to uh, sort of uh, have a, have a sharp uh, demarcation uh, for my uh, for my liquid uh, sprue uh, uh, this stuff and uh, <clears throat> I think it worked quite well. It, it will be very interesting to see if this uh, <laughs> if this actually works in in reality. Because uh, uh, the reason why I did this was that um, I'm a little bit worried about just uh, dabbing on uh, liquid sprue all over the place. Uh, I will try to preserve as much as possible of the panel lines. And if everything goes according to plan, I hope to be able to just need to. I, I just need to rescribe just some small parts of uh, uh, basically where the where the seam is. So let's uh, let's hope that that works. Uh, the uh, <coughs> front uh, or nose landing gear bay is uh, finished, so I will mask that. Uh, and the ram air turbine or the rat hole as I <laughs> like to call it uh, is also uh, finished so I, ne I need to mask that as well um, I made a couple of small improvements of the kit I, uh, there is a small um, I don't know if that is a support or the reason for that, but uh, that is uh, something that is on, on the vegan, that is not included in the kit. So I, I used a little bit of a guitar string to uh, to, to uh, put that in place. And um, there will also be some support between the uh, this part and the fuselage, and uh, but that is included in the kit already, so I will probably use those. I have... Um, it's not possible to see that, but uh, here. But I have completed the um, uh, the IP cover and the head-up display and all the stuff that is in the front of the of the on, under the windscreen or the windshield. So I have um, completed that, and I also masked the the uh, cockpit tub, so I can just put primer on when it's time to, to paint. Uh, what I still need to fit is the is the first uh, stage of the of the turbine like so uh, but I will probably not do that until I'm completed with uh, with the intakes because there are a couple of uh, seams there is actually a step in just uh, when the air scope meets the sort of funnel or the, the air tube uh, so I need to take care of that first and after that I can paint this in uh, natural metal I think and um, and after that I can uh, put this together and then we can start to uh, mate the front and the rear of the other fuselage and, and the wing part. So let's uh, let look, let's look at this. Uh, I have assembled everything in the engine uh, except this thing, uh, which is the the upper lip or um, petal of the, um, the thrust reverser. That should actually sort of droop a little bit um, when when the aircraft is on the ground so I will glue that in this is probably one of the last things I do um, with this kit 
I have also uh, added some scratch built some stuff. I uh, added um, some details in the exit of the afterburner. <clears throat> so you can, I think you can see that. I also have a, actually you know, a separate video on how I did that. Um, it's uh, in, in my silhouette portrait uh, uh, series, so to speak. Okay, so uh, this one went together quite well. Uh, there are a couple of small seams. I think there is one here. And there are a couple of small seams along the wing root. I I, um, I think I got everything together quite well, but there are a couple of small uh, um, areas where uh, where I think I will need some uh, putty, something like uh, I think I will use this uh, perfect perfect plastic putty for for that uh, because it's so easy to clean up and. Uh, since it's a very small, there, there you can see it. Since it's a very small uh, uh, gap, then I, I think I can can use that. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I have also done some, um, what should I call it, improvements of the kit. Uh, the Elevon, uh, or, or the flaps if you want to call it that. Uh, should be drooped when the aircraft is on the ground, so I have cut this part uh, with a resin saw and uh, I haven't cleaned up this yet but uh, uh, I started to clean up this edge here and uh, so I will glue that in uh, sort of a drooped position okay so um, apart from that there are lots of small parts uh, that should be glued in like uh, air scopes and the uh, air brakes and uh, stuff like that but I will do that after I've cleaned up everything and uh, sort of um, sanded and polished uh, the, the plastic. Um, so here's the here is the uh, main landing gear base. Uh, I, I didn't uh, do any detailing. I think the kit looks quite nice as it, as it is. Uh, so I will leave it with that and uh, yeah so I think that's uh, that's it let's see how this uh, fits together okay I think there is a small step on each side or it's actually displacement I think so I probably need to um, to remove some material here or or at the top here to to make this go together Let's see if I can use some pressure on. yeah I, I can use my finger to the 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 step is almost gone so uh, so I think it's will be possible to uh, by with some dry fitting to to get this go together really well um, I think this is much better than the 148 scale kit, as, as far as I've seen on photos. So uh, uh, I, I was expecting more, more issues, to be honest. So um, yeah, so that's uh, that's it, guys. I think um, for you. You, you guys who think that, oh, the, the aircraft is almost complete, they, we must be in the finishing phase. Um, there are actually a lot of things left in the kit to, uh, to uh, glue in place, so uh, we are far from uh, completed. And uh, I, I call this uh, the mid-build uh, uh, update but I'm, I'm not really sure that I'm have reached uh, the middle of the build if this is I think one third or something like that so um, until next time um, 
thanks for watching and uh, I will proceed with this and uh, hopefully in the next episode everything will be built together and uh, prepared for painting. Okay, goodbye and see you in the next episode.